this is Fantasy Esque, and welcome back to Niche Fairy Flowers. Before we begin, I want to say a very special welcome to my channel members. Thank you so, so much for your support. I appreciate it immensely. We are picking up on a brand new island with our fairies and pixies, and it doesn't seem as though we have any dragons left, but we are in a peaceful little recuperating island where hopefully our numbers will be able to build up a little bit more might stabilize and diversify and then go on to have some really fun times in a kind of bigger space but okay when we left off we managed to secure ourselves a little fairy prince who i am seeing i have not given his prince stone so there we go he's gonna get one um well i call it a king stone usually he's gonna get one king stone to show that he's a fairy prince. His father, of course, has three king stones, which is great. And then his mother over here has one fairy stone in the middle to show that she has been claimed by the king. So that's great. And another thing we need to look out for, actually, now that Maroshi is of age. Um, not of age. He's young. But we need to see if we have a female that's compatible with him that's a fairy. So Maroshi is E and K. E and K, E and K, A and G! Okay, okay. Well, it looks as though, guys, one of our water fairies, Roxy, is compatible with the fairy prince. So, whenever um, he comes of age, he's gonna start pairing up with Roxy, and then his mother, where is his mother? Riachia is going to kind of retire. Although, she's a bit. I don't think she has enough days to breed more. Yeah, she doesn't. She really doesn't. So, oh well, at least we're securing the knowledge that we have uh, a pairing going for the Fairy Prince, which is going to be very helpful to us. Larian only has nine days. So, whew, kind of dodged a bullet on that one. But okay, first things first, Jennif, let's give her a nest. Clear this. She has been paired up with Prince Quail, of course. I'm excited to see their pairing. And what kind of child they end up having. Okay, King Lyrian is going to start running around exploring. We want to try and find resources during this time as well. Okay, Roxy, you can help explore. We'll get Quail to jump up here and do his bit as well. And then Princess Briachia is going to come this way. Oh, we found kind of a nest nearby. Let's see, Blavel, 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 let's come here. We'll see if we can get someone to get comfortable near that berry bush to start plucking some things for us, but I'm excited. You know, it's kind of wild that we're at the stage where none of our nichelings look the same. And I don't mean in terms of pattern, I mean like exactly, because in the past we've had nichelings that look exactly the same like in terms of patterning and color combos, but everyone's different at this point. It's kind of wild. It's kind of wild. Oh, we had a little girl. Look at how cool the mask patterning is getting. It is so awesome. So she's got black and gold like her mother, but her gold looks a little bit lighter. And oh my goodness, she just look at the masking pattern. It literally looks like she's got like a superhero mask on her, doesn't it? This to me. Okay, this is going to be God Ailey. God Ailey, welcome to the family. Oh, she looks adorable. Does she have attack? Because, you know, she's a god and that's kind of important. She has one. She has one. We have somehow brought it back into the family <laughs> after our water freeze all but lost it. Okay, um, let's see. Riachia can't exactly breed, so that wouldn't be a, like a, that wouldn't be a sensible pairing. Now, I don't think anyone else is of age. Maroshi, we know who's paired up with. Blavel's of age. F and E, E and K. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So I think, and Roxy's gonna be paired up with the prince. So I think we can actually read Jennifer and Quail again. So, okay, I'm happy to do that. And this little one, yeah, she's recessive pixie. That's okay. We'll get these two to do a little bit of romancing, some more. 
So Quail and Jenef, we're relying on them to keep our genes going at this stage. Let's grab some berries. Riacha is going to help with the berries. And then she's going to hop here. Okay, you guys, let's start expanding this way. Clear this. We'll get Spice. Princess Spice to hop over here. Clear that. And then let's see. Roxy, clear this. Grab some berries. And Blavel is just going to sweep the grasses around him. We'll get Prince Maroshi to come here. And then God Rhea is going to help him out in his little quest on that end. Okay, everyone's spreading out quite nicely. Let's turn the day. Our fairy prince is of age. Excellent. Excellent. So the next time we'll pair, um, we'll pair Roxy with the fairy prince and we'll see what we can get. And they're starting fairly young as well. Well, Roxy is halfway through her life, but that's okay. That's okay. I think, I think we'll do fine. I think we will do fine. Okay, Larian, let's hop along here. We'll get Princess Spice to clear this and jump in that direction. Okay, Quail. Let's see. Quail, I'll get you to come here. And then he can just clear the grasses. Right, Jennifer. I want to stick very close to her little baby. Um, yeah, I would like her to stick close to her baby and then maybe hop on this nest on the left. We'll do that. Because we have had Barinas jump out at us in small islands, so I'm a little bit reluctant to let the offspring kind of spend too much time on their own. Okay, Maroshi, let's hop you here. And Rhea can't grab that. She's gonna try best clearing these spots. And, okay, now we can get Jennifer on a nest. We just had a nicheling pass away. I think it was, oh, it was uh, Riachia. That's right, Riachia passed. Okay. Oh, look how cute Ailey looks. Ailey looks so adorable. She looks like a little kitten, doesn't she? Ugh. Okay, Jennifer, you're going to hop here. Ailey's going to hop next to you. And then you're going to try and take out this berry bush. Can any of you hunt? Yes. Let's get that mole, because I'm too tempted by it. And then Roxy... Roxy's gonna head towards the prince and help out there. So that we can get them lined up for the next... Um, like, for the next turn. I think is what we'll do. King will jump here. We'll get Spice to grab that berry, clear that. Maybe hop in this direction. Let's see, Blavelle. Clear. Grab some berries. And then our prince is going to grab these berries. Even more berries! Okay, Rhea. What can we do with you, Rhea? I might get Rhea to kind of just hop in this direction so everyone can start coming towards the middle a little bit more. Okay, let's have a look at what Jennifer gives us. What is the sibling of Ailey going to look like? And then we can get our royal pairing going as well. Oh! <gasps> Oh, well that's different. Another little girl, which is awesome, but she's got like this dark red and black and that looks so cool. Hold on a second, you can barely see it because her patterning is like so dark. But I think she's got, she's got a black coat and then she's got this dark red. Um, that is so cool. Okay, this is going to be God Hyrule. God Hyrule, that is such a pretty name. Hold on a second. I spelled it wrong. It has two U's. God Hyrun, welcome to the family. Ah, oh, that is so lovely. My goodness. Jennifer, you're having such pretty children. Like, what's going on? What's going on, Jennifer? Okay. We also need to... Our king has a few days left. We'll pair Maroshi up with Roxy, who can't have the fairy stone just yet. Because then we're going to confuse her for being claimed by the king. But she is going to breed with our prince. And she's expectant. Which is making me very, very delighted. And they're going to grab some berries. Have a little bit of, um, I guess, romance together. Meanwhile, I'm actually going to get Quail to jump here. So he can help look after um, his child, Ailey. And that's going to give Jennifer a little bit of rest. She can kind of hop out of the way and pluck some berries on that side. 
As for the rest of our nichelings, oh, he can also help out with the berries, I guess. Okay, Blavelle, let's clear this and hop further in here. We'll get Spice to clear the area around her. We have a Crabbit. But Rhea can't attack, otherwise I would have gotten her and the King to team up. That's not going to work for us at all. Okay, we also need to uh, kind of recoup our foods. We've been slacking a tad bit on the food, guys. So we need to think about that. Because look, our food's going down to 193, and we had like high 200s not too long ago. I guess it's because we've been running quite a bit. So, okay. Ailey, let's jump here. Grab the berries quail. And then just patrol. And then we'll get Jennif to... Oh, she took out that berry bush. Would you look at that? Now she's going to patrol. And then you guys, you have two days left. Let's grab this nut and this berry. And you can grab these berries, Maroshi. Roxy's going to knock the tree so we get a few more things. And then let's see, Blavelle, he can help out with those nuts. And then he's going to jump here. We might get a few of our nichelings to tend to this acorn tree for a little bit. Um, just so that that helps us out with food. Princess Spice. Let's come along this way. And then Rhea is on her last day. She's going to do us some good by clearing the grasses and then kind of diving into the shadows a little bit. Slinking away um, to kind of her private space. And then let's turn the day. And she has left us, but she gave us some really cool water fairies. One of which is like now pregnant with the fairy prince's child. So, you know, she's done some big stuff for us. Big stuff. Okay, God Ailey is a teen. She's going to get her Godstone. Her younger sister is going to get a Godstone as well. And I think Roxy is ready to settle down onto a nest. I will get her to move last. Just so we can get a little bit of kind of movement going. Okay, Jennif. Nice. Grab some berry there. And then she's going to hop this way. I wonder if between... Oh, she can't attack. Darn it. No, maybe she can't. Maybe she can pair up with her with her father, and they can do some attacking between the two of them. Well, Ailey is just distracting the crab at this point, but I think she and her father will do some hunting. Um, King Larian is going to grab these berries, and then he is going to hop this way. Oh look, Spice found um, a nest, and then I don't know if... I don't even know if she's going to make it there. Let's just hop out of the nest. I think that's a bit too far. I feel like it's a bit too far. Yep, too far. But she's gonna just settle down right over here. Um, and then let's see. Maroshi can't grab any nuts. That was his... His mate could do that. Okay. Because of the, the cracking. That's another good thing about water fairies. They brought back cracking into the family. So that kind of helped us out. Huge, huge bit. Okay, Blavelle, you can tend to the nut tree while our... Um, while your sister's gone doing what she needs to. And let's have a look, guys. Are we going to get uh, a prince off the bat? Oh! Well, that's interesting. We haven't had this happen in a while. In the beginning, we used to have kind of pixies born into the royal family, but... There we go. We just had a, a pixie. Who looks very much like... Um, at least that band it has that looks like a necklace, it has like Princess Spice. Interesting, interesting. And it even has like the... You know how I talked about the scary soulless eyes because of that patterning? It has the same that Princess Spice does in a sense. Ah, interesting, but it's Pixie. So unfortunately, we'll not be able to breed back into the royal family or continue those royal genes in any way. So this is going to be Princess. Is it Princess or is it a god right now? Hmm. Hmm. What have I done in the past? I can't remember. Because... Because it's... Huh. Because the father is currently a... I guess it's a princess. Even though your father's a prince, you're a princess. That's okay. That's okay. This is going to be Princess um, Pandira. 
Princess Pandira, welcome into the family. She does have a bit of a panda vibe about her, like a beach panda. Mm, nice. Okay, well we have that going. Now Roxy, she has some time left. She can give us some more kids. And if anything, we still have Quail. Where is Quail? I've got Quail. He hasn't had any sons. So, you know, it's not like we can divert the line somehow. But maybe maybe we'll have some more chance to um, get that going at some point. But okay. Okay, guys. I think we'll leave it here for now. But in the next episode, we should definitely get some chances to breed up um, breed up our fairy prince and Roxy a bit more and they'll probably give us a son at some point. I think we might be able to get one or two more breedings out of them if we alternate with some of the others. But okay guys, with that said and done, I'm gonna leave off. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.